We are given a parabola and a straight line. The angle of inclination is 135 degrees. Okay, question 6.3 says, calculate the coordinates of P, which is the point of contact between F and G. Right, so the way we can handle something like this is the following. So remember in grade 11, most of you would have learned about um, angle of inclination, which is in analytical geometry. So technically it's like something from paper two, okay? So what, what it means is that if you, if, you know the, if you know this angle, then you can work out the gradient of this line. You can work out the gradient of the line using angle of inclination. And we use tan for that, okay? So if you haven't, if you can't remember this or if you haven't done it before, just go look for my grade 11 videos on analytical where we talk about angle of inclination. Okay, so just to cut everything short, um, if you say tan of 135 on your calculator, that is gonna give you negative one. So what that means is that this line has a gradient of negative one, okay? But now what's really interesting about that is that if the gradient of that red line is negative one, and we know that it's a tangent, then what can we say about the graph, the parabola at that point over there? Well, we should remember that, and I know I've mentioned this a lot of times, but it's good. Um, we should remember that the gradient of a tangent is always the same as the gradient of the graph at the point of contact. So what this means is that if we take, so, so we need to work out what the gradients, or we know that the gradient of this parabola is also going to be minus one. It's also going to be minus one at the point of contact. So how do we find the derivative, I mean, the gradient of a parabola? Well, we use calculus and we can take the first derivative. So let me quickly write out the original equation of the parabola. Then we take the first derivative, which actually means the gradient. They should have just called it that. It literally just means the gradient. Okay. Now we know that the gradient at this point is equal to minus one. So I say minus one over here. And then I just work out what my x value will be. And if we had to go work this out, you should eventually find out that x is equal to minus 1. So the x value at this point of contact over here is minus 1. But we don't know what the y value is. OK, but that's not a problem. It's very easy to find the y value. Um, to find the y value, you can just plug that, y, that x value into the equation, and then you can get the y value. So that's easy. So let's quickly do that. So what I can then do is I can just write out, or I can substitute minus 1 into this equation. And if we do that, we get 6. Okay, and so the y value at point P must be six. And so the coordinates of P will be negative one and six. So 6.4 says determine the values of K for which the straight line, now be careful. Um, when I looked at this earlier, I nearly got caught out here. It says the straight line. And so I thought they were talking about this straight line, but they're not. They're not talking about that straight line at all. They're talking about the straight line y equals to k. Now, we should remember that if you have a line y equals to 2 or y equals to minus 3 or y equals to any number, we should remember that that is a horizontal line. It's like an asymptote of a hyperbola, for example. It's a horizontal line that goes across. Okay. So they're asking us, determine the value of K for which this horizontal line is not a tangent to this graph, is not a tangent to the graph. Okay. Oh, I just realized that 
Oh, I just want to quickly see something. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is quite interesting. I actually didn't pick up on this either. Can you see that this equation here is the complete opposite of this one over here? Can you see that they have they have reflected it in the x-axis? Okay. They've reflected it in the x-axis. So let's just quickly make sure that we all understand that. So we were given f of x equals to minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. But now they have given us y equals to 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So can you see that that is a reflection in the x axis? And so, and so this graph, well, this, this graph over here that they have at the bottom probably looks more like this. It probably looks more like, um, Okay, so that is what the graph, let me just try that once more. That is what this um, y equals to 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay, now I'm going to draw a little tangent quickly. I'm going to draw a tangent to that graph, but we know that it must be horizontal because it says y equals to k. So that is a horizontal line. So if I had to go put a tangent there, it would look something like this. Uh, let's choose a different color. It would look like that, right? That is what a tangent would look like to that graph. So if I want to know what the equation of that line is equal to, I need to know what the turning point coordinates actually are. So I'm going to quickly go find the turning point coordinates of, um, of this equation over here. We're going to find the turning point. So y equals to 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. And so to find the turning points, <clears throat> you can just use x equals to negative b over 2a. You could use calculus if you wanted to as well. That's fine. And so that's going to be x equals to negative 5 over 2 times 2, which is going to give us negative 1, 25, or negative 5 over 4. Let me just double check. Yeah, negative 1, 25. And then to find the y value of that point, you can just plug it in to that equation. OK, so the coordinates of this little point down here would be um, the x value there is negative 1, 25. And the y value is negative 6, 1, 25. So what would the equation of this horizontal line be? The equation of that horizontal line would be y equals to negative 6, 1, 2, 5, right? That is what the equation of that tangent would be. But they said, determine the value of k for which this straight line is not a tangent, is not a tangent. So then it should actually be any number except for this number, because when it is that number, then it is a tangent. So what I could do mathematically is I could say that y can be anything, y can be anything except y should not be negative 6, 1, 2, 5. k is an element of r, and k should not be negative 1, 6, 2, 5.